going on guys it is the month of october which means halloween horror scares and many more scares for throughout the whole month and i do apologize for not uploading a video last week my plan initially was to pretty much do a review over a horror based figure and upload it each week of october because it is halloween guys that's right so well it's getting, it's getting close to halloween but you know what i mean um so basically what i'm going to be doing is doing a review over a certain horror type figure has to do with anything with horror um which means friday the 13th uh, jason Voorhees, freddy krueger um halloween pennywise you, you know what i mean um so i might have time to go buy the new pennywise figure i haven't had time i've seen i'm talking about the remake i've seen the remake one at target i've also seen um the friday the 13th part two figure there the part four i don't have the part four um i have many other figures um but i've seen figures over there but I do have the part two Freddy Krueger, which I'll be doing a review next. But before, I just want to let you guys know we're going to be having a look at this figure right now. Um, and since I didn't upload a video last week, I'm going to go ahead and upload upload two this week. Since I didn't do one last week. So it's going to be this one and then the next one. But this is not my figure. This is actually my little brother's figure. Um, but he let me borrow it. <clears throat> so this today we're going to be having a look. In case you don't know what this figure is. We're going to be having a look at the NECA. That's right, NECA. NECA Friday the 13th part 3 retro cloth Jason Voorhees figure yes this is not your standard ultimate figure or your basic um, action figure that um, NECA really usually provides for you this is a retro cloth figure they're usually bigger they're about $30 and they have basically cloth clothes um, I don't, however my little brother doesn't have the packaging for this thing but I can imagine it looks something like this this is the um, Freddy Krueger packaging and I'll probably be doing a review over this one next. This is actually mine. Um, but the figure is Chris's. Um, but yeah, here we have the Jason Voorhees figure. I have him in that infamous pose whenever he shoots out that girl's eye at the dock. Uh, when he first emerges with his um, hockey mask. So yeah, this is basically his, his first appearance with the hockey mask. Um, so this figure is really great. Um, I don't know how much he paid for it, but I know that these figures usually go for $30. Um, unlike your other um, NECA figures that usually go for about $25 uh, or $20 depending on which kind you're getting. If you're getting a standard packaging um, NECA figure, it's $20. But if you're getting a retro, I mean, a ultimate figure, like in the actual boxes and everything with all those accessories, it's going to be about $25.99. And then if you're getting the retro cloth version, then you're getting it $30. But they can go up higher depending on how popular they, they are. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories first, then we'll go back and take a look at Jason. Like I said, there is no packaging. Um, if there was, I would totally show you. But for the accessories, he does come with that harpoon gun that I did show you earlier in the in the review. Oh, okay, it's focusing. My camera is cooperating with me. Um, <clears throat> so right now I'm using my phone because I the other camera is not working for some reason. I don't know, technical difficulties. So I do apologize if the... You might be able to tell that the camera does look a bit different, the HD quality and whatnot. Um, but yeah, right here we have the harpoon, harpoon gun. I almost said harpoon for some reason. But yeah, you have the um, the metal on top. NECA's always been good at making guns, dude. I know this isn't like an official gun, but it's like a, a fishing gun. It's not even that pointy. I thought it'd be pointy. And it's kind of rubbery, so it does move around. But the actual harpoon gun itself is hard. Well, not really, kind of. But you know what I mean. But yeah, that's a harpoon gun. And then you have the axe. I love this axe, dude. And um, I do have the um, ultimate version of this figure, which is mine. So I'll go ahead and bring out the accessories later within the review and compare it to the other accessories. They're pretty much the exact same thing, just a bit different. But um, yeah, here's the wood. It really does look like wood. I love that. Um, it's not wood, it's plastic, but I love how I made it look like wood. And then you have the actual metal part right here. I would, I would enjoy some blood on there, but it looks like he hasn't used it just yet. And then, of course, you have the infamous machete here. This one, there's no blood on it. It looks like it's blood, but um, it's just a bunch of dirt. But I love how rusty and dirty it looks. It looks awesome. It's not sharpened at all either. Usually NECA sharpens their their tools here, but nah. And it's a pliable uh, plastic here. Black handle. Um, it's got the rivets here on the side, but not this side. Uh, but yeah, really cool. And the cool thing about each accessory is that they're able to fit in perfectly in within Jason's hands here. Uh, for J, but they fit tight, but they fit great. They're not gonna, it's not gonna fall out or anything. Um, I did have a little trouble putting the harpoon gun in his hand because it is pretty hard. 
And his hand isn't like a soft plastic, it's a hard plastic. So as you can see, it's kind of hard. Let me, let me try to put the axe in here. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, my brother Chris has a pose with the um, machete. But if it was up to me, I'd pose it with the harpoon gun. But yeah, um, so now let's take a look at the figure. The figure is pretty nice itself. I really do love the retro cloth. I mean, <laughs> I keep saying retro cloth. The cloth clothing that the figure has on. Uh, you have the regular shoes here. I thought they were boots. They're shoes, apparently. Um, his legs do go up. Apparently he shaves his legs. But yeah, um, he has the black shoes going on there. He has some gray... Uh, it just depends, man. I've seen a lot of figures go either like a baby blue type of color, like jeans, I guess, or and I've seen them go gray. Um, his clothing does change. It, it dirties up in the fourth film, which is basically a sequel to the third. Um, you have the blood splatter on here. I love how they put the blood splatter on here, too. Um, it looks like a jacket, but it's, actually, it's supposed to be a shirt. Um, it's a, his green button-up shirt. The only thing that kind of bothers me is that the hand is a different color from the rest of the arm there. I guess they thought you wouldn't notice, but that, that really doesn't bother me. It's not my figure after all. Um, he's got the little pockets. Oh, they even work. Is it, can you put something in there? Uh, no, I don't think you can, but I like how they kind of lift up too. They kind of work. Um, so yeah, you have the buttons going on there. Reminds me of the NECA Carline doll. <clears throat> With the real clothing and all. You got the blood splatter here. No blood on the back. So really the only blood you have is right there on the chest. And then right here. And I'm surprised he doesn't come with that extra, with like an extra head where his head is like cracked open with that. When you hit him with the axe. No, the machete, my bad. Um, so this is kind of odd to point out, but he has abs. <laughs> the shirt does open. It's got the Velcro going on there. Um, but no, who would want to open that? Probably the, moti the moment you've been waiting for is me taking off the mask. I guess you can count that as an accessory. I don't really count it as an accessory. But here's the mask. It's pretty hard, too. It's not It's not like your standard mask where it's like rubbery. But it's pretty hard. So, And it's pretty... Like I said, the figure is bigger. So if you try putting this mask on the regular figures, I don't think it would work. Because it probably just fit on him like a like an adult mask would fit on a little kid. But yeah, the mask is pretty clean. It's not, It hasn't been dirtied up yet because he just got it. Um... And there's his face. I love the head sculpt on this thing, man. I love it. Look at that. I love how the veins are popping out too, and his ears all messed up and chewed up. He looks like uh, like Frankenstein, <laughs> but uh, his teeth are all messed up and all. He's not dirtied up. It's 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 actually a pretty clean head sculpt. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's a really clean head sculpt. He doesn't. He just looks like a deformed person. He doesn't look like like a zombie like he does later on. But yeah, if you want to put that back on, sits on there nice and snug. I love how the eyes are like sunken in the mask. It looks scary. But yeah, there you have it. Um, so next we're going to be going over articulation and then comparison time. So, articulation time. Alright, so for articulation time, Jason has a bit amount of articulation. His head is on a ball joint. Well, kind of actually, it's actually kind of a peg. But it does go down that much, goes backwards that much, rotates that much. Uh, I think he has an ab crunch. Let me see. Nope, no ab crunch. Uh, so his arms go out that much. They do rotate at the shoulder, but it's kind of hindered because of the cloth here. Uh, he has a single bend at the elbow, rotation at the wrist, a pivot at the wrist. Like I said, no ab crunch. He does have a waist rotation, though. Uh, his legs go forward that much. He's flitting. Uh, his legs go backward that much. He can do the splits. I don't think he has a... Well, yeah, he has an upper thigh cut. A bend at the knee, single bend at the knee. Um... Unfortunately, this is a retro cloth figure, so with most of the retro cloth figures, your foot can only go down that much, up that much, and no ankle pivot. So, However, you don't really have that much trouble standing him up. Plus, you can always lean him against the wall if you wanted to, but I'm sure you wouldn't want that. So anyway, let's jump over to um, size comparison time, um, because I really have a lot of cool figures to compare him next to for Halloween. So here we go. All right, so first and foremost, I want to get the Jason figures out of the way, so comparison. Like I said, here it is next to the ultimate Jason right here, the part three Jason. This one's mine. Um, so yeah, as I said, it looks like a jacket on him, but it's actually a t-shirt. I mean, not a t-shirt, a shirt, button-up shirt. Um, here, as you can see, there's a huge size difference between the characters. Um, it's more of a baby blue here, and it's more of a gray on here, the pants. Um, the weapons are pretty much the same thing. Um, so I just wanted to kind of compare the masks here. Um, they're 
he is. As you can see, this one's more dirty and that one's more clean, so yeah, in case you wanted to see that. And this one does come with an extra head. I'm not going to show it here, though, because I'll save that for the review, which I'm also looking forward to as well. But yeah, there you have the um, three figures. And the thing I always loved about the Part 3 figure um, is that his he has kind of a hunch on his back, whereas this one doesn't. He's just standing up pretty straight. So, I mean, that's something I've always enjoyed about Jason. Um, and so comparing his weapons here with the weapons that came with the Retro Cloth figure here, um, here is the harpoon gun that came with the part three figure and here is the harpoon gun that comes with That comes with the retro cloth figure. Of course, it's gonna be bigger to match the size um, It's pretty much the exact same thing to be honest with you. It's, it's just this one looks more rusted more dirty uh, The needle Surprisingly the needle on here on the the regular version is more sharper So yeah, and then with the axes here is the one that came with the retro cloth and here's the one that came with the rigid with the original this one's more has more blood. The wooden is more dark. So yeah, there you have that one. And then the machete that comes with this one. I haven't even opened the machete from this one, so I can't really compare that. But yeah, there you have it, guys. And then here you have an actually part four figure. This is the regular version, not the ultimate version. So this is a pretty old figure. And then here you have him next to the ultimate Jason Lives figure. And then next to the ultimate part one Freddy Krueger figure. And then here he is next to another retro cloth figure. This is the retro cloth uh, Dr. Freddy from part four, I believe. This is actually my figure right there. So yeah, pretty, that's the same size. And then this is Chris's other figure. This is the part five uh, Freddy Krueger figure, I believe. But yeah, that's another retro cloth figure. And then here is Chris's Ash figure, retro cloth as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And here he is next to a Marvel Legends Wolverine figure. And then next to a Star Wars Black Series First Order Stormtrooper. So, well, that was a lot of comparisons, guys. But yeah, there you have the figure. Sorry, it's just a huge figure. A lot of things to go over. But yeah, there's the figure. I highly recommend it for any Jason collector. I wish I had this figure in my collection. It's my brother's though. But yeah, really nice figure, guys. Happy Halloween. Thank you to the next review, which will be over the Retro Cloth Freddy Krueger. Well, it's either going to be over this or the Part 3 regular Ultimate version of um, Jason here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole month of horror figures that I'm going to be reviewing, guys. I do apologize. I did not up upload one last week, but I'm going to be uploading this one. Uh... For, a, for an apology for that last week, basically. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm stay tuned to the next one. Stay safe, drink plenty of water, and I will catch you guys on the next one. This has been Rubik's Film. Peace out.